back to my channel. No need to check your calendars, my friends. This video can only mean one thing. It is time for the polish pickup. Now, if you are new to my channel or if you have no idea what the polish pickup is, let's just take a quick little moment to talk about what the polish pickup is. The polish pickup is an indie nail polish shop that is open for pre-sale during the first weekend of the month. Now, in this shop, we have various vendors, various indie sellers that not only sell just nail polish, but all sorts of crazy stuff. It has evolved into so many fun things during the pickup. I've seen squishies, like, you know, those stress ball thingies that you squish and they kind of like puff back open. Um, I've seen like wax melts, I've seen shower melts, I've seen bath bombs, I've seen like nail care products, top coats, base coats, I've seen cuticle oils, I've seen hand creams, um, I've seen, I think they had a nail file one time, possibly. I've seen stamping stuff, like stampers and stamping plates. It has evolved into quite the wonderland of all things nail polish and self-care and just pampering and fun. Now each month the polish pickup does have like a theme and that theme is used as like the inspiration for each of these vendors. This month's theme is going to be the 1990s and so each vendor is taking some aspect of the 90s whether it's a TV show, music video, pop artist, as so long as it happens sometime during the 90s it is fair game. Now there are tons of products available on the Polish Pickup website. Most of them you can actually preview right now so if you click on the link to the Polish Pickup down below you can kind of get a nice taste of what's going to be happening during the pickup which will open on Friday. So the Polish Pickup will be opening up this Friday, May 4th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then it will remain open until May 7th where it will close at midnight Eastern Standard Time. You can have that entire weekend to peruse and to purchase, but as soon as the weekend is over, the shop will be closed and you can no longer pre-order any of these polishes. So I know that's a lot of information regarding the pickup, so I will leave all of that information down below regarding how it works, where you go, where to see stuff, and regarding caps. Just like I've said in many of the polish pickup previews I've done in the past, I only have a small fraction of the products available in this month's pickup. These samples were given to me to preview for you guys, to show you formulas, to show you what they look like, so please feel free to ask any questions that you may have in the comment section regarding these polishes and I will do my best to answer them. This video is mainly just a resource for you all to see the formulas, to see how they apply because I feel like the camera does not lie. You can see how these formulas apply to the nail. You can see what the quality is like as you're as I am live swatching them, which is why I love doing these videos because it really gives you guys full information regarding these polishes. Now, this intro has been so long. I know you guys are just dying to get to these polishes. I am myself, so let's just get started. Let's get this party started with Isn't It Ironic from Anchor and Heart Lacquer. This gorgeous pumpkin orange cream polish is pumped full of tons of multi-crumb flakies and iridescent glitter. You can see as I rotate the bottle that you see a very, very slight, very, very subtle iridescent micro glitter inside this polish. But the more exciting thing about this polish are all of the flakies. There are flakies of every color of the rainbow. Some of them are multi-chrome that change different colors. Some of them are just solid metallic flakies. I am instantly taken back to elementary school when looking at this polish because it reminds me of the bottom of my pencil box that has all those crayon shavings from our very cool plastic Crayola crayon sharpener and the little shavings would get everywhere inside your pencil box. That's exactly what this polish reminds me of. Now the formula on this one is extremely easy to apply. The first coat is very, very opaque. However, it's not quite saturated enough and so you do need to have a second coat on this one to really build up the color to add more flakies to it and to really give you full beautiful nail coverage this is a solid two coat polish you definitely get tons of color payoff in two coats you get tons and tons of those beautiful multicolored flakies as well it does dry down a tad bit textured though so make sure that you put on a nice glossy topper to smooth out the texture and to give you a nice even shine as well isn't it ironic is priced at $13 and there is a cap of 200 and 70 bottles. Next up, we have Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go from Bees Knees Lacquer. Now, this is a gorgeous hunter green, multicolored, glittery goodness polish that is absolutely stunning when you look, take it out into the sunlight. Now, the base of this is definitely hunter green, so we're dealing with that gorgeous turtle hunter green color, but then it is pumped full of tons of different kinds of shimmer and all of these different iridescent flakies. There's red, gold, orange, green, blue, 
purple, all the colors of the rainbow are pumped inside this polish, making it so much fun to look at. You could get hypnotized by looking at this polish because there are so many beautiful colors and shines and sparkles deep within this polish. Now, this is a thicker polish because we do have a very large amount of flakies and glitters in here that we need to make sure get evenly distributed. So I decided to really thin out that first coat just to really give a nice solid even and smooth foundation for the rest of the application the second coat that i did was probably a little bit more thicker than my first coat but that's because i am naturally very heavy-handed when applying my nail polish and i forgot i was trying to even and thin things out a little bit but it still worked great i was completely happy with two coats once again we are dealing with a fair amount of glitter and flakies and fun inside this polish so i definitely wanted to put a glossy topper on here to smooth things out to make it look like what you see in the bottle and to really enhance the shine. Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go is priced at $12 and there is no cap. Now it's time for You Don't Take Art, which is from Blush Lacquer. This is a very stunning, very dramatic, purpley polish that's got a little bit of maroon and raspberry in here as well that really makes this very vampy and very, very lush. This polish does start with a very strong, like purpley plum base, but then it is just pumped full of a coppery, reddish shimmer that definitely shifts between like a light copper to even orange sometimes to gold, but depending on what angle you are looking at. There is also an added bonus of some hollow in here as well, which is so elegant against this like plummy, raspberry, maroonish, goldish shifting polish. It is absolutely stunning. Formula is top drawer with this polish. I loved how opaque and how easy it was and flawless it was when applying to the nail. It's almost completely opaque in one coat. However, I did want to add a second coat just to see if it darkened the color and really intensified the shimmer. It certainly did. So I'm labeling this polish a solid two coat polish. I really don't think you need more than two coats, but again, that depends on your application style. This polish demands a nice glossy topper to really, really make it look like what you see in the bottle and to really give a chance for that shimmer to come screaming through. You Don't Take Art is priced at $12.75 and there is no cap. Here is another great purple polish from Cameo Colored Lacquers. This is called He's Worm Food, and it starts with this gorgeous kind of pastel, periwinkle, purpley base that is full of all of these different kinds of glitters and shimmers and flakies. There's definitely like a pinky purpley kind of shimmer running through here with a little kiss of gold as well. But what's more noticeable are all of the flakies. There is a huge variety of flakies inside this polish from multi-chrome flakies that shift to various different colors to solid metallic flakies in like pink and purple and gold. There's also some micro glitter in here as well. There's some hollow glitter, just giving you a well-rounded, gorgeous inclusion of all the colors of the rainbow in this beautiful periwinkle base. Formula was very impressive. I was so happy to see the glitter and shimmer payoff in one coat. However, the base color just wasn't quite opaque enough, so I went ahead and hit it with a second coat. Uh, I was completely happy with the end result in two coats, and so I went ahead and added a glossy topper to smooth out the texture and to really enhance the shine and give a chance for all those little sparkles and shimmers to come screaming through. He's Worm Food is priced at $12, and there is no cap. Coming up next, we have Give Me a Sign from Colores Decay. Carol. This is a classic bright red linear holographic polish that's got just a kiss of pink in here. So it's kind of like a watermelony pinkish kind of red that is instantly just glorified with the use of a linear holographic as well inside this polish. So you see pops of the rainbow all throughout this polish, along with some multi-chrome flakies that shift between violet, pink, and a little bit of gold. These flakies are so complementary to this base and they aren't too overpowering in this polish. So it's a really nice blending of a nice appropriate amount of flakies and a gorgeous watermelon raspberry base hollow polish. The formula on this is extremely opaque. I was so impressed to see the color payoff in just one coat. However, it wasn't quite saturated enough for me to be labeled a one coat wonder. So I went ahead and added a second coat, which I think is definitely needed because it saturates the base color more. It gives you more of that hollow, gives you more flakies to look at on your nail. So it is definitely a solid two coat polish for me. It definitely dried a little bit satiny. So you want to add a nice glossy topper to it to really enhance the hollow that is inside this polish. And you really want to let that come shining through as much as possible. Give me a sign is priced at $11.50 and there is no cap. 
Here we've got a fantastic neon called You Got It Dude from Fair Maiden Polish. This is an electrifying neon reddish kind of corally polish that is absolutely popping. It is definitely a neon, so therefore my camera is on the fritz because it does not know how to compute with such amazing, awesome, intense color. There is a beautiful, very nice purpley pinky shimmer running through this that definitely gives it a very strong coral feel to this neon red colored base. There's also some multi-chrome flakies in here that shift between like purple and blue and a little bit of green that definitely are a nice contrast against this neon red. The formula is absolutely fantastic. I was so, so impressed that I did not need to use a base, a white base coat at all with this polish. That neon vibe is already coming through pretty strong with just one coat. There are tons of flakies in this polish as well so you are not running dry at all in the flaky department. I did want to add a second coat to really intensify the neon to really make it look like what you see in the bottle and to get more of those flakies. This polish is definitely very versatile with either a matte or a or a glossy topper, making it a fun polish for the summer. You Got It Dude is priced at $11 and there is no cap. Next up, we have Ray Ann, a hand and body lotion from Lily Ann's Garden. This is the classic Lily Ann's Garden hand and body lotion recipe. So we are dealing with very hydrating ingredients like apricot oil, grapeseed oil, shea butter, and cocoa butter. This month, the scent is Ray Ann, a beautiful blending of apple and gardenia. So it's got a nice blend of a fruity and floral scent that isn't too overpowering or too strong. The Lily Ann's Garden Hand Lotion formula is very thick like a hand cream, but it is absorbed into your skin like a lotion, leaving your skin completely hydrated and matte. So there's no greasiness, there's no shininess. Your hands will be left completely matte and super, super soft. I found the scent to not be too intrusive. It lingered on the hands long enough so that I could still notice it, but it wasn't overpowering where it's too strong and causes it to be a distraction on your hands. This two ounce bottle of lotion from Lily Ann's Garden is priced at $5.50 and there is no cap. Get excited for Spoon from Lynn B Designs. This soft, very nice periwinkle blue polish is definitely a jelly that is packed full of like a nice soft purpley pink shimmer. And there are some multi-chrome flakies that are very pastel and light in nature. They shift between pink and orange to a little bit of gold. You will also be happy to see that there is some hollow in here too, making you see little pops and shifts of the rainbow throughout this bottle. With this being a nice jelly and with having all these nice dimensional glitters and sparkles inside this polish, you really wanna keep application a little bit on the thin side with this one so you can build it up and get all those layers of color and jelly, create like a lovely little jelly sandwich right on your nail. I was able to get no visible nail line in two coats, but I do feel like application style is going to be key on this one. If you work in thinner coats, you might need three coats, but I was definitely happy with my two. The natural finish on this one isn't quite quite shiny enough for me. I wanted it to look like what I see in the bottle. So I added a glossy topper to it, which really enhanced the shine and just makes the shimmers and the flakies come out of this polish from within this blue jelly base. Absolutely gorgeous. Spoon is priced at $12 and there is no cap. Next up, we have I'm Just a Girl from Moonshine Manny. On first impression, you look at this polish and you immediately see the fiery red jelly base and the gold shimmer. But as you look closer, you begin to note that there are other players involved with this polish and they all come together to make a stunning red jelly sparkly delicious polish. There are definitely multi-chrome flakies in here. Some shift between red and gold while others have kind of more of a greenish gold and like kind of orangish feel happening. They're not overpowering at all. They're very subtly folded into this polish. The thing you notice the most about this polish is the gold copper shimmer that is very, very prevalent in this polish. I was so amazed by the formula of this. I found it to be extremely opaque in one coat. You did get a lot of the glitter and shimmer payoff as well. However, it just wasn't quite deep enough. I wanted to really saturate that jelly base color. So I added a second coat and I was completely happy in two. You might need a third depending on your preference. I did note that it dried a little bit on the satin side for me. So so of course I needed to add a glossy topper to even things out to enhance the shine and to really give that gold copper shimmer a chance to come roaring through. I'm Just a Girl is priced at $11 and there is no cap. 
Let's soften things up with Hang On To Your Diapies Babies from Nail Hoot. This gorgeous Robin's Egg Mint Blue Cream Base is absolutely stunning in combination with the copper elements inside this polish. There is a copper shimmer that is very subtle running through this polish along with larger copper glitter pieces that also have some slight holographic tendencies as well. So you do see pops of the rainbow throughout this polish, making this entire bottle a beautiful ode to springtime because we've got this gorgeous Robin's egg blue complemented with these fantastic copper metallic elements and then pops of the rainbow. With it being such a light base color, that first coat is really not that impressive. However, I was able to get full opacity in two coats. I do believe that Application style will probably be a factor of whether or not you need two to three coats, but I really can't see you needing more than three coats with this polish because it is extremely creamy and very opaque. I enjoyed this polish with a glossy topper. However, it does look fantastic with a matte topper as well. The addition of a matte topper really does make it look like a, a, a true robin's egg or even a piece of turquoise, which is absolutely stunning. Hang on to your diapies, babies, is priced at $9.25 and there is no cap. We've got another neon on deck. This is Beep Me from Night Owl Lacquer. Once again, my camera is on the fritz with this polish because it cannot compute the electricity that is held within this polish because we are dealing with a fantastic bright neon red base. Added elements to this neon red would be the very subtle red shimmer inside this polish that does shift slightly magenta, which complements that red neon. There are also a lot of like a crystal iridescent flaky in here that with it being inside this red neon appears to shift between like pastel colors. So we're seeing lots of purples and pinks and magentas and some light greens and golds, which amazingly works so well against this electrifying neon red base. Once again, I am blown away by this neon formula. I don't need a white base coat whatsoever. Just two coats of this polish was enough to get it to look like what it is in the bottle and it's a versatile polish that looks fantastic with a matte topper or a glossy topper. I really enjoyed it matte because it actually gave a chance for those flakies to come out in a different way than it does with the glossy, which is just so exciting and a perfect polish for the summer. Beep Me is priced at $11 and there is no cap. And we're wrapping things up with your late, your stunning, your forgiven from Top Shelf Lacquer. Once again, we are given a fantastic, super shifty polish from Top Shelf lack of, we've got this gorgeous plum base that is super shifty it goes from like a darker plum purple to per to green to an olive green to gold there are lots of things happening in this base color but let's not stop there we also have an added bonus of tons of hollow glitter and we've got some gorgeous iridescent flakies that have a very strong cerulean blue shift to purple. These flakies stand out dramatically against the dark shifty nature of this polish, but they're also really complementary to the shifting colors that you see in the base as well. When it comes time to apply, the application was extremely smooth and easy to work with. The amount of flakies and other properties inside this polish do not hold back the performance whatsoever. I was very happy with two coats of this polish. Second coat definitely darkened that shift, darkened the polish in general, and gave you just tons more of these flakies, and I could not see a nail line with two coats. It did, however, dry slightly textured because of the amount of flakies, and so I did want to put on a really nice, thick, glossy topper to even out the texture and to, of course, unify the shine. Your Late is priced at $13, and there is a cap of 410 bottles available. And that is it. Those are all the polishes that I have for preview for the May polish pickup. Like I said before in the beginning of this video, all information regarding the polish pickup will be in the description box down below. And please feel free to ask me any questions about these polishes that I have shown. Now I do really want to apologize about the, the neons in this set. My camera just really does not like neons and I feel like most cameras don't like neons. So if there are any like questions regarding those neons, I will try to do my best to answer them or to provide pictures to my best ability. But I hope you guys found this video informative and I hope this was useful in helping you make any decisions regarding polish pickup because it is so much fun. It is such a good time and I cannot wait for this weekend because there are some polishes that I am just so excited about. I'm so excited about and I cannot wait. But that is my video for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!